some things are hard to remember. But luckily, there are mnemonics, special ways to help people remember things. There's the acronym mnemonic. When you come up with a word so that the first letter of each word is the same is the same as the first and what you're trying to remember. For example, Roy G. Biv for the seven colors of the spectrum. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. An upper mnemonic is acrostic, where you design a sentence so that the first letter of the sentence is the same as the first letter of what you're trying to remember. My very educated mother just served us nachos for the eight planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. This might sound strange. You don't just have to remember the sentence, but you also have to remember what the words stand for. But that's how memory works. Linking, linking the unfamiliar with the familiar. How many children would not have remembered the order of the alphabet if it weren't for the alphabet song? There's also the peg system, where you, with a number list, you assign a peg for each number. One bun, two shoe, three tree, four door, five hive, six sticks, seven heaven, eight gate, nine line, ten hen. And you create a picture for the number. There's also rhyme. The rhyme 30 days half September for the days in each month. Or the alphabet song previously mentioned in this video. There are many uh, there are many kinds of mnemonics. But we'll just stop here. I can't give you everything at once. Bye.